Malta Malta, Table of Contents All About Malta With Visiting and Touring Information Geography History Attractions And Other Points of Interest Dr. Sidney Soclough Dr. Sydney 22 at gmail.com 2023 Narration by Dr. Sidney Soclough Zoe Phonemes and Nathan Cole Tove. For a complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to tiny.one slash yt navigator. Malta. Malta is officially known as the Republic of Malta, in Maltese, Republica Ta Malta, and was formerly known as Melita. This is the coat of arms of Malta. Malta is an island country consisting of an archipelago in the Mediterranean Sea. Malta is in a strategic location between the eastern and western Mediterranean. It is 50 miles, 80 kilometers, south of Italy. 176 miles, 284 kilometers, east of Tunisia and 207 miles, 333 kilometers, north of Libya. This shows the strategic location of Malta near the Strait of Sicily, and the nearby Italian island of Sicily in the country of Tunisia. Malta has a population of about 500,000 and a land area of only 122 square miles, 316 square kilometers making it the world's 10th smallest country in area and the fourth most densely populated sovereign country. This is a topographic map of Malta. The two main islands are the island of Malta and the smaller island of Gozo. The capital of Malta is Valletta, which is the smallest national capital in the European Union, with an area of only one quarter of a square mile. 0.6 square kilometers. Valletta is the main urban area of Malta. Valletta is located on this peninsula, surrounded by the larger metropolitan area. The city population is only 6,000, but the metropolitan area population is almost 400,000. This represents about 75% of the total population of the country. The official and national language is Maltese, which is descended from Sicilian Arabic that developed during the Emirate of Sicily, while English serves as the second official language. Italian and Sicilian also previously served as official and cultural languages on the island for centuries with Italian being an official language in Malta until 1934, and most of the current Maltese population being at least conversational in the Italian language. Maltese, in Maltese, Malti, is a Semitic language spoken by the Maltese people. It is the national language of Malta and the only Semitic official language of the European Union although it is written with the Roman alphabet. Although the original vocabulary of the language was Seculo Arabic, it has incorporated a large number of borrowings from Romance sources of influence, Sicilian, Italian, and French, and more recently, Germanic ones from English. The historical source of modern Maltese vocabulary is 52% Italian Sicilian, 32% Seculo Arabic and 6% English, with some of the remainder being French. Today, most function words are Semitic in this way. It is similar to English, a Germanic language with a significant influence from Norman French. As a result of this, Romance language speakers may easily comprehend conceptual ideas expressed in Maltese, such as geographicament, 
El Europa High Party Tas Supercontinent Tal Rasja, which in English is geographically. Europe is part of the supercontinent of Eurasia. While not understanding a single word of this example of a functional sentence that would be easily understood by any Arabic speaker, Abrajal Kid Fiddar, which in English is the man is in the house. The origin of the name Malta is uncertain, and the modern day variation is derived from the Maltese language. The most common etymology is that the word Malta is derived from the Greek word meli. Meli. Honey. The ancient Greeks called the island Melody, Melite, meaning honey sweet, possibly for Malta's unique production of honey. An endemic subspecies of bees called the Maltese honeybee, or Apis mellifera rutneri, live on the island. The Romans called the island Melita, from a Latinization of the Greek melody. Chapter 5 The History of Malta Malta has had a long and complex history, dating back to at least 5200 BC. Around 800 BC, the Phoenicians arrived. Malta has been inhabited from around 5900 BC, since the arrival of settlers from the island of Sicily. A significant prehistoric Neolithic culture is marked by megalithic structures, which date back to around 3600 BC, and existed on the islands. The Phoenicians colonized Malta between 800 and 700 BC, bringing their Semitic language and culture. They used the islands as an outpost from which they expanded sea explorations and trade in the Mediterranean. The Phoenicians and their successors, the Carthaginians, were ousted by the Romans in 216 BC with the help of the Maltese inhabitants. Malta became a Roman colony around 218 BC. The Arabs arrived to occupy Malta in 870 AD. Between 1090 and 1283 there were successive waves of foreign occupiers of Malta. This is the flag of the Aragonese Kingdom of Sicily. In 1530 the Knights of St. John, also known as the Knights Hospitaller, arrived on Malta. This was followed in 1565 by the four-month siege of Malta by the Ottoman Turks. Malta was ruled by the Knights Hospitaller, or Order of St. John as a vassal state of the Kingdom of Sicily from 1530 to 1798. The islands of Malta and Gozo, as well as the city of Tripoli in modern Libya, were granted to the Knights Hospitaller by Spanish Emperor Charles V in 1530. In the mid-17th century, the Knights Hospitaller were the proprietor over a few small islands in the Caribbean making it the smallest state to colonize the Americas. The Great Siege of Malta occurred in 1565, when the Ottoman Empire attempted to conquer the island of Malta, then held by the Knights Hospitaller. The Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, Suleiman, sent an invasion in force of about 40,000 men to besiege the 700 knights and 8,000 soldiers on Malta and expel them and gain a new base from which to possibly launch another assault on Europe. After nearly four months the Ottoman Turks were unsuccessful and departed from Malta. Following the siege of 1565, the Knights Hospitaller decided to settle permanently in Malta and began to construct the new capital city of Valletta. For the next two centuries, Malta went through a golden age, characterized by a flourishing of the arts and architecture. After the Great Siege of 1565, Sande Vallette, the victorious Grand Master of the Knights Hospitaller, immediately set out to build a new city to fortify the Knights' position in Malta. 
1798 Napoleon conquered Malta from the Knights Hospitaller. But the British took over just two years later in 1800. In 1798 Malta was conquered by the French army under the command of Napoleon Bonaparte, making his way to Egypt. Napoleon abolished the power of the Knights Hospitaller. The English occupied Valletta in 1800. In 1800, Alexander Ball became the first military governor of Malta. Malta became a British crown colony in 1814. It played a strategic role in World War I, and even more so in World War II. In 1814, as part of the Treaty of Paris, Malta officially became a part of the British Empire and was used as a shipping way station and fleet headquarters. After the Suez Canal opened in 1869, Malta's position halfway between the Strait of Gibraltar and Egypt proved to be its main asset, and it was considered an important stop on the way to India, a central trade route for the British. Between 1915 and 1918, during the First World War, Malta became known as the nurse of the Mediterranean, due to the large number of wounded soldiers who were accommodated in Malta. During the Second World War, Malta played an important role for the Allies. Being a British colony, situated close to Sicily in the Axis shipping lanes, Malta was bombarded by the Italian and German air forces. Malta was used by the British to launch attacks on the Italian Navy and had a submarine base. It was also used as a listening post, intercepting German radio messages including Enigma traffic. The bravery of the Maltese people during the Second Siege of Malta moved King George VI toward the George Cross to Malta on a collective basis in 1942 to bear witness to a heroism and devotion that will long be famous in history. Some historians argue that the award caused Britain to incur disproportionate losses in defending Malta, as British credibility would have suffered if Malta had surrendered as British forces in Singapore had done. A depiction of the George Cross now appears in the upper hoist corner of the flag at Malta and on the country's arms. Malta achieves independence in 1964, but remains within the British Commonwealth. Malta achieved its independence in 1964 after intense negotiations with the United Kingdom. Under its 1964 constitution, Malta initially retained Queen Elizabeth II as Queen of Malta with a Governor-General exercising executive authority on her behalf. Malta became fully independent in 1964. Under its new constitution, Malta initially retained Queen Elizabeth II as Queen of Malta with the Governor-General exercising authority on her behalf. In 1971, the Malta Labour Party won the general elections, resulting in Malta declaring itself a republic within the Commonwealth in 1974, with the President of Malta as head of state. The withdrawal of the last British troops in the Royal Navy from Malta occurred in 1979 and Malta declared itself as a neutral and non-aligned state. Malta joined the European Union in 2004. Chapter 8 Valletta Valletta is the capital city of Malta. Its population is only 6,000, but the metropolitan area around it has a population of 400,000. Valletta's 16th-century buildings were constructed by the Knights Hospitaller. The city was named after Jean Perisot de Vallet, who succeeded in defending the island from an Ottoman invasion during the Great Siege of Malta. This is a map of Valletta.
This is a satellite view of Valletta between its two harbors. This is a view of Valletta in the foreground and Fort St. Elmo at the very front. This is the view showing the peninsula of Valletta. This is a map of Valletta. This is a map of the central area of Valletta. This is another map of the Medina area of Valletta. Valletta is Baroque in character, with elements of Mannerist, Neoclassical and Modern architecture, though the Second World War left major scars on the city, particularly the destruction of the Royal Opera House. Valletta was officially recognized as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1980. This is Turner's depiction of the Grand Harbor, displayed in the National Museum of Fine Arts. This is Valletta Harbor around 1850. Valletta is noted for its fortifications, consisting of bastions, curtains and cavaliers, along with the beauty of its Baroque palaces, gardens and churches. This is the Grand Master's Palace. This is the Royal Opera House in 1911. St. John's Co-Cathedral is a Roman Catholic Co-Cathedral in Valletta dedicated to St. John the Baptist. It was built by the Order of St. John between 1572 and 1577. This is the nave of St. John's Co-Cathedral. This is a painting of St. Jerome riding, by Caravaggio in 1607, and now in St. John's Co-Cathedral of Valletta. This is the beheading of St. John, painted by Caravaggio in 1608. It is in the oratory of the Co-Cathedral. The is Suctal Belt, Maltese for City Market or Valletta Market, is also known as the Covered Market. It is a 19th century market hall in Valletta and was the first building in Malta to be constructed mostly of iron. The building was severely damaged in World War II. This is the renovated Trident's Fountain. This shows bomb damage in Valletta during the Second World War. The Parliament House, in Maltese, Daril Parliament, is the meeting place of the Parliament of Malta in Valletta. The building was constructed between 2011 and 2015 to designs by Renzo Piano. The Courts of Justice building in Valletta was built in the neoclassical style between 1965 and 1971. This is a view of the Grand Harbor in Maltese, Il Port Elkbeer, and in Italian, Porto Grande, also known as the Port of Valletta. The Malta Freeport is one of the largest European ports. This is the Greek Orthodox Church of St. George in Valletta. The Child Migrants Memorial at the Valletta Waterfront commemorates the 310 child migrants who traveled to Australia between 1950 and 1965. The University of Malta was founded in 1769 and currently has 11,000 students. The National Library of Malta is a reference library in Valletta. It was founded by Grand Master Emmanuel de Rohan Poldic in 1776. The Sacra Infirmaria was used as a hospital from the 16th to 20th centuries. It is now the Mediterranean Conference Center. This is the Mater Day Hospital in Msida, just to the west of Valletta. The Manol Theatre is the third oldest working theatre in Europe. It is the National Theatre of Malta, and home to the Malta Philharmonic Orchestra. The Lower Biraca Gardens are gardens in Valletta adjacent to the Upper Biraca Gardens. The gardens offer a view of the Grand Harbour and the breakwater. 
This is St. Paul's Cathedral in the Medina section of Valletta, built in the Baroque style. This is the Portamazzo Business Tower, the tallest building in Malta. This is Valletta's Maritime Industrial Zone. This is the Dolphin Show at Mediterranean Marine Park. Tourism generates a significant part of the GDP of Malta. This is the beach at Malija Bay. A good way to see the sights of Valletta in Malta, especially for a first time, is a city sightseeing open top bus tour. Hop on and off at any of the 35 stops along the combined north and south tour. The combined route goes from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The entire loop is 4 hours, and the buses come by every 60 minutes. One and two day hop on hop off combined bus and harbor cruises are available. Narration is available in 13 languages. There are two bus tour routes and 35 stops around the island of Malta. This is a map of the combined route. This is a list of the stops of the city sightseeing bus tour. The boat tour has a duration of 90 minutes. The departure point is at the Salima Ferries stop, number 17, and tours depart twice daily at 10.30 a.m. and 2.25 p.m. Information for Cruise Passengers The city sightseeing information kiosk is inside the cruise terminal. They will answer any questions and direct you to the city sightseeing stop, which is a 5 to 10 minute walk. Gozo is an island of the Maltese archipelago and part of the Republic of Malta. After the island of Malta itself, it is the second largest island in the archipelago. This is a map of the Maltese island of Gozo. This small island is only 8.3 miles. 13.3 kilometers long and 4.4 miles 7.2 kilometers wide with a population of 33,000 This is a view of the Mgare Harbor The statue of St George at the Festa of Victoria on the island of Gozo This is the Maltese landscape near Mgare this is the Blue Lagoon Bay between Camino and Caminado Islands. This is the Mariam El Batul Mosque in Paula. This is the Holy Week procession in Zebag. Malta is part of the Eurozone Monetary Union. This is the reverse side of the Maltese 1 euro coin. The climate of Valletta. Will it be hot? Or will it be cold in Anvilita? Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in Valletta. Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in Valletta. Rainfall in Valletta. Here is the average rainfall in inches throughout the year in Valletta. The total yearly rainfall is 21 inches, or 530 millimeters. Here is the average rainfall in millimeters throughout the year in Valletta. Here is the average number of days per month, with precipitation, throughout the year in Valletta. We see that it rains about 10 days every month, throughout the year. Two of the significant representations of Malta are the Maltese Cross and the Maltese Falcon. The Maltese Cross is a heraldic cross variant which developed from earlier forms of eight-pointed crosses in the 16th century. Although chiefly associated with the Knights Hospitaller, Order of St. John, now the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, 
and by extension with the island of Malta. It has come to be used by a wide array of entities. The Maltese Cross is used by such entities as the Order of St. Stephen, the city of Amalfi, the Polish Order of the White Eagle, 1709, the Prussian Order Porli Mayridi, 1740, and the Bavarian Military Merit Order, 1866, and is displayed as part of the Maltese Civil Ensign and the Maltese Naval Jack. The Maltese Euro coins of 1 and 2 Euro denominations carry the Maltese cross on the reverse side. The Maltese cross is also the trademark of Air Malta, Malta's national airline. The Maltese Falcon is a 1930 detective novel by American writer Dashiell Hammett. The novel was later adapted several times for the cinema in 1931 and 1936 and for the 1941 movie, The Maltese Falcon starring Humphrey Bogart in 1990. The novel ranked 10th in top 100 crime novels of all time by the Crime Writers Association, and ranked 3rd in 1995 by the Mystery Writers of America. The Maltese Falcon is a 1941 American film noir written and directed by John Huston and based on the 1930 novel by Dashiell Hammett and a 1931 movie, both of the same name. The movie stars Humphrey Bogart as private investigator Sam Spade, and Mary Astor as his femme fatale client, Gladys George, Peter Lorre and Sidney Greenstreet co-star. The story follows a San Francisco private detective in his dealings with three unscrupulous adventurers, all of whom are competing to obtain a jewel-encrusted falcon statue. The movie premiered was nominated for three Academy Awards, and considered one of the greatest films of all time. It was one of the first 25 films to be included in the National Film Registry for being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. Recommended videos, Malta. Recommended video, Top 10 Reasons to Visit Malta, Mojo Travels. 6 minutes, 58 seconds. Recommended video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About Malta. Recommended video, Top 10 Things to Do in Valletta, Malta. Recommended video, History of Malta in 11 Minutes. Malta, Table of Contents. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.